Hello and thanks again for joining me for a session of Move Your Body and Speak English. We're going to continue with antonyms. So words that are opposite in meaning, very different. Antonyms. Let's do some. You can see an open door. This is an open door and you can see someone poking their head around the door. This door is open. This door, whoops, that door is, that door is shut, shut. It's a shut door. And there's an open door. Open door. You can see an open door and a shut door. You can also say this door is closed. Mmm, it's a hot drink. Looks like hot chocolate. Yummy. In the winter time, it's a lovely hot drink. Mmm, you can see the steam coming off. That's how we know it's hot. It's a hot drink. Ah, this one's a cold drink. Looks like a glass of icy cold water. Mmm. Very refreshing in the summer. It's a cold drink. Cold. Hot drink. Cold drink. They look the same. They're both wearing the same hat. They're both wearing the same shirt. They look the same. She looks different. She's wearing a different color hat. She has different color hair. And she's wearing a different colour shirt. She's different. They are the same. She's different to them. You can see a red hat with a yellow ribbon. And here's a purple hat with a blue ribbon and a yellow flower. She has orange hair. They have yellow hair. They're wearing a short sleeve shirt. She's wearing a long sleeve shirt. It's a yellow shirt. She's wearing a purple lilac color shirt. It's long sleeve. They look the same and she looks different to them. to go with those antonyms, words that are opposite. So let's imagine, whoa, using our uh, imagination, let's imagine that this, our body is a, is a shut door. So let's put our legs together, our arms are by our sides, and we can call this, using our imagination, a shut door. And now, using our imagination, Let's become an open door. Shut door. Open door. 
Let's do that a couple of times. And now, let's imagine that the weather gets very hot and it's so hot that we have to fan ourselves to cool down. Oh, it's so hot out. The sun is so strong. Oh. So we do this movement because it's so hot. Oh. But then, all of a sudden, the temperature changes and it becomes very cold. And so we make this movement because it's so cold all of a sudden and we want to warm up. So cold. Oh. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, so hot. Our tongue hangs out because it's so hot. Oh. Oh. And you fan yourself to cool off. And then it suddenly just gets really cold. Oh, it's so freezing. Oh. And now, let's do a movement that's the same movement. Watch me once. And now I'm going to do the same movement with the other arm. Let's do that again. So they're the same movement. Let's do them together at the same time. Same movement, different arms. Three times. And now let's do a very different movement with our arms. Let's do that again. And one more time. So we did the same movement and then we did a very different movement. Let's do the same movement and a different movement all together. Here we go. And again. One more time. Your English just got better. See you next time. Bye.